total is going to be $5,834 that we can split up into separate payments of... I was like, absolutely not. What is wrong with you? Hey dolls, welcome back to Lisa and Does Things. On this channel, I cover all things glam and fabulous from skincare reviews to DIYs to shopping hauls and everything in between. So if this is something that interests you, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the doll collection. Today I'm going to talk to you about Celebrate Your Sexy Bajora shoot that I tried to do for my hubby for Valentine's Day and it didn't exactly work out how I pictured it to be. It all started when I saw this ad on Instagram. It was on Black Friday and it literally was like, Bajora photo shoot, $15. And I was like, what? That is super cheap. I don't want to say I'm a model because I've never signed like an official contract to model, but I have done a couple of things, you know, in the local area for some brands and just for like fun to do things with other photographers when they needed something for their portfolio. So I always did it, it's always been a fun thing, you know, sometimes I get paid, sometimes I don't, sometimes it's pro bono. So I feel confident to do it. This was back in, on Black Friday in November. So I planned it to get done in January so I can have the pictures by February, Valentine's Day. I like to plan ahead, it's the Capricorn in me. So $15 included the free boudoir photo shoot. It included, I just gotta check my phone because this is a lot of information. One basic retouched photo. The photo shoot itself was valued at $300. The retouch photo is valued at $149. You get one 8x10 printed photo that's valued at $49. And then you get $75 worth of image credit that you can apply towards any of your future photos and whatever package you want to get to, you know, if you don't want prints, you can put them in like an album and stuff like that. You get $50 off an album. I was like, yo, this is bomb.com. Like, why am I not signing up for this? Why didn't I hear about this before? So I signed up. And I, you gotta pick a date, and they were booking out to like January, so that was fine. It worked out for me. I was like, yo, these pictures are gonna be mad sexy. I'm gonna plan this out so perfectly. And, girl, my man's playing Call of Duty, and I can just hear him yelling, so he must have won. The whole package was was valued at like $623, and I'm paying $15 for it. So I'm like, okay, cool, like, you know. That's lit. I'm gonna keep my pictures. Like, I'm doing this photo shoot. Like, lit. All I have to do is just buy the outfits. So, when you send that email, they like bombard you with like communication and messages and all that stuff. So within the first 48 hours, like, legit, this is in the email. Within the first 48 hours, you have to sign a contract. The contract goes over a lot of like basic stuff that you would like kind of assume is kind of like understood, but like, you know, you gotta sign the contract. It goes over. You know, the visitor policy, you can't have any guests because of COVID, so it's only you. And I'll talk about how sketchy that is in a second. You can only bring yourself, you can't have a guest in the hotel room with you. The late fees, if you're late, your cancellation policy, drug use, body alterations, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then like a lot of legal jargon that's in there that you know you typically find everywhere where you sign an agreement you know all that stuff and information about how to pay for your pictures all that stuff whatever so i sent my name and i sent it through between that time they just bombard you with so much information like send you a guide on how to pick your lingerie um get to have like three or four i had four i don't know if i was allowed more outfits but i brought four and you bring the lingerie with you you know it's not something raunchy it's like but Duar is very sexy lingerie you know like classy think like victoria's secret you know things like that and they bombard you with like you know guides on how to take your pictures how to do your hair and makeup tips and tricks for your photo shoot and how to remove hair from your body blah 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 they just keep sending you emails thing that i didn't like that was so sketchy was that you don't know until the day before or the week before your photo shoot where the location is you don't know who your photographer is you don't even get their contact information in advance everything's a secret up until the day before which as a female if you can't bring someone with you either a female friend or your hubby your significant other like whatever that's dangerous fyi if you're a female and they're telling you that you can't bring a friend with you or just someone another person with you to a photo shoot that's super dangerous that's super sketchy your photographer should make you feel comfortable enough to bring somebody with you because that's a safety issue as females as women we have to protect ourselves and unfortunately there's a lot of like men out there who are sketchy and 
you know, like sell dreams to young girls who don't know anything about photography or modeling and they're like, yeah, 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 I'll get you. And then, you know, these situations happen. So to me, that was super sketchy, but I was like, whatever. So you shoot with a female photographer. You don't get her name until the day before, like bombards you with like texts to confirm like, hey, this is your photographer. My name's Lisa. Here's my phone number. And I just wanted to confirm you're coming tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, thanks for reaching out. It's me. Thank you so much. I'll be there tomorrow. And they do this at like high-end hotel. I went to this hotel and it was so beautiful. Oh my God. They make you wait in the lobby when you get there. Oh, and by the way, they send you a picture of her face and she did not look nothing like her picture, FYI. So that was sketchy too. But you wait in the lobby and I texted her. I'm like, hey, I'm here downstairs. Like I was like 15 minutes early, you know, cause I needed to figure out parking and where it was, but it was close to the mall. So I just parked at the mall. So that wasn't even a problem. She's like, okay, like, just wait in the lobby. I'll come get you at your scheduled time. Like, that's corny. Like, why am I waiting if I'm already here? You don't have someone upstairs, but you can't get me a few minutes in early so I can get some time in advance to get dressed, but whatever. She texts me. She's at the elevator. I meet her at the elevator. She walks me to a hotel room. So it's like a nice little suite. When you first walk in, you know, you have, like, the little living room. Then um, a separate room has the bedroom. And it's just plain, like there's nothing special about it. And then around the back, they have a bathroom, which is like kind of fancy. Like the, I think the bathroom was the fanciest thing out of everything. It had like really large windows all across um, the bedroom and the living room. So that was kind of cute. Starts off by, you know, doing the regular, like taking a picture of me, taking a picture of me with my ID, just to make sure that it's me. And then she kind of like walks through what's going to happen today at the shoot. So it's scheduled for, I think, 90 minutes. She asked me to lay out all my outfits on the bed. It kind of makes this face like, mm, okay. And she starts like arranging them. Like doesn't even ask me which outfit I like the most or what body part I want to highlight. She's kind of like arranging them and then put, put some on top one of another. And she's like, okay, we're going to do it in this order. Poses from what she told me are already set up for you. So there's no room for you to kind of like be like, oh, well, I want to do this pose. Or I want to do a pose like without a bra, just my breasts. Like, no. They have everything like set up for you. Every pose, how you hold your fingers, where to put your elbows, like everything's already set up. She has her mask on because of COVID. I don't, which, cause obviously I'm doing the photo shoot. Tells me to go into the bathroom and change. Just make sure that when I change that I need to do it as fast as possible because we want to maximize our time for the photo shoot. Me like how comfortable I am and what's my experience. And she's like, okay, great. Like, this is awesome. They ask you to have your makeup a little bit darker than usual because the lights that they use make your skin look so satin smooth like it makes it look like bomb.com like it makes it look like you're oiled up like girl i didn't even have to put on baby oil and i looked oiled up in those pictures the bad thing is that you need to blot your face every so often totally forgot to bring um like a little those little like sheets from Georgina that you can blot or some face powders so I use the tissues. I use the whole box of tissues in the bathroom, just like in between pictures and photo shoots. Like, okay, all right, no shine, because my face is shiny. And I get dressed, and you know, I had some heels for my first shoot. She asked me to get on the bed, and we do some poses on the bed. I feel totally comfortable, but if you've never done something like this and you're alone, like it's gonna feel super out of place. But the pictures come out so good because they tell you how to pose. She makes it super clear that she's gonna guide you throughout the whole process. You get on the bed and you start off with like kind of like crawling positions and then you get on and then you do like some kind of like lay down like uh. and the funny thing is she told me like you know some pictures are gonna feel really uncomfortable because you have to like arch your back really out and you're, I'm gonna ask you to tilt your head and a lot of these body movements which are gonna feel awkward but are gonna look so good on the camera and yo they look so good. So after a pose and stuff, like after each like outfit session, I would say, she kind of shows you all the pictures and she scrolls through. And they were so good, girl. Like, so good. I look like a Victoria's Secret model, plus like 10 or 15 pounds. But I look bomb.com. Every pose that you do that she asks you to do, like, you know, there's certain tricks that you like um, bring your elbows together to make your boobs look more perky or you arch your back or you like kind of like 
bring your shoulder down and cover your <laughs> body rolls on your waist with your arm to kind of make it look like sultry. They look so amazing. I actually learned some stuff. Some things I knew, but I actually learned some stuff. And you know, when you like pose sexy and stuff, you want angles all over. So the more like curvier you are in the picture itself, not like body type, but like in the picture, it looks so good. So good. Like I don't, she kept hyping me up. And I was like, yes, girl, yes. Like, if you want to work on the side, I got you, sis. Like, just, you know, take my card. Take that information. Give me a call. You have my number. Then you move on to your next outfit. And then you do more poses. Accentuating certain parts of your body. One of the pictures, you, you know, accentuate your breasts. Or another picture, you accentuate your butt or your legs or your full body. Like, whatever it is, like, they, they target all the angles. On my fourth outfit. You do booty pictures, so like they have like this wide window, like from like ceiling to floor, just full window, like nothing but window. And there's these beautiful skyscrapers and like a beautiful, the Charles River, like as the background. And you're kind of supposed to pose with your hands all the way up, super low, and then arch your booty. And then they get like this beautiful butt shot. And it was amazing, but it was the wrong outfit choice. Like I had another outfit that would have made my butt look so much better in. And I was like, listen, like, I really don't feel comfortable in this outfit. I'm just not liking the pictures and the poses. Can I go change real quick? And she was like, you can do that, but then I would have to delete all the pictures we just took. And I was like, that's stupid. Like, why don't you just keep the pictures and the poses that I did? I can just change them and we can just keep moving with whatever new poses we have to do. But whatever. At that point, I was kind of like, you know, I don't want to give my man, like, the same pictures in the same outfit like I want to do different stuff so I was like whatever I'll just stay but I wasn't feeling confident you can see it in my face I was kind of like bored I just wasn't like into it for that fourth outfit but whatever like the booty shot looks so good like I got a little flatty and I got a little fatty in them pictures after the fourth outfit she shows me the pictures I'm like okay yeah they look okay but whatever like at that point I was just tired like my face is like so tired of holding up my eyebrows like super high and doing that sexy face like Ugh. So she asked me to go get dressed like I take a cute ass selfie in the bathroom and it's on my Instagram So you should check it out. Just saying I come outside and She's like just breaking everything down. What's gonna happen? Like ask me if I set up my viewing appointment, which you have to you already do it. You know when you um, Set up your first appointment someone calls you or something she shows me like this little example book of what the special album that they have or something is called it's like these thick cardboard pages and it looks so good like I want this for my man I'm like this is the book that I'm getting him like blah 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 these pictures are amazing like super cocky oh and one thing to mention like they hype you up the first two outfits that I did my pictures in she was hyping me up she's like oh my god you're so gorgeous like I would love to work with you in the future like no one takes as good as pictures as you. Like, I'm like, uh oh, sis, say less. After like the third or fourth outfit, the fourth outfit, you know, I just was not feeling how they looked and I just wasn't feeling my outfit. Kind of like showed on camera, but I was kind of like, whatever, like, I'm gonna just get through these pictures and call it a day. Kind of just noticed that that's what they're supposed to do. Like, they hype you up so you feel confident and sexy and like, oh my gosh, like, I'm a Victoria's Secret model, like, blah, blah, blah. Because, like, honestly, some pictures, like, this just didn't look great. And she's like, this is my favorite. I'm like, mm, I see you, sis. Sales tactic. So you get, like, emotionally connected to these pictures. You know, like, you want all of them. We're saying our goodbye. She gives me, like, a little goodie bag. The goodie bag is, like, literally two Hershey kisses, a pen, like, tweezers, pink tweezers. And that was about it. Like, nothing special. Not whatever they told me in the Instagram post that was, like, super crazy and special, like, you can buy that stuff at CVS, sis. Like, don't even worry about it. So whatever, I leave. You know, two weeks later, I have my viewing. You sit down with one of the, like, I don't even know what you call them. Like, they're definitely salespeople. But you sit down to go through each and every one of your pictures. Pick the ones you like. Then decide, you know, how you want them. You either print them or you go ahead and do an album, a keychain, whatever, like, other stuff they have you can do. They have different options as far as, like, how you want to edit your photos. So they have, like, the basic retouching, which is just, like, simple stuff. Like, they smooth out your skin or they fix, like, fl um, fly hairs that you have on the outside on the pictures. They have, like, four or five different options. Or you can do all the way to the most expensive option per picture, I should say, which is, like, they get rid of 
body rolls. They make you look slimmer, like a Photoshop to the max. And they have like little examples that they show you with like a, an example model. They make you like look younger. They do some, they remove tattoos. Everything under the sun, girl, they do that. So I was like, I look good. I'm happy with my body. Like I'm just going to do basic. So before you're viewing, you have to confirm it. It's not Zoom. It's called something else. I can't remember. I'll put it down here once I remember. It just basically tells you you want to view these pictures in a private place on a secure network like you can't view them at Starbucks you can't view them in the workplace because you know they're like your sexy pictures so you want to do it at home on a quiet time when no one's around you get 90 minutes with the the rep and then there's this super scary warning that your the pictures are copyrighted by US law so you can't screen record you can't like take your phone and take pictures of it and and they'll they have this technology that they can detect pictures blah 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 it's kind of like weird but i thought you know whatever this is just like legal jargon that they have to put in there just so like they can make some dollars off it whatever let's pause here for a second because there's some really important information that i didn't really know at the beginning that affects my viewing and my pictures that i ordered at the end so celebrate your sexy cys copyrights all of the pictures that you take so by signing the contract um, as I mentioned earlier in the video there is a little clause um, right under that says copyright law and fine so saying that all the images that you view um, are copyrighted by US law meaning that CYS owns the right to these pictures even though you are the model and you think that you own them you really don't um, so CYS owns them if for any reason they find out that you have copied the pictures in the viewing or have screenshotted them, um, they can totally go ahead and pursue legal action or um, charge you for the pictures that they found out that you took. So for someone like me who doesn't understand copyright law, I didn't think that CYS was going to have complete and total control over my pictures. I thought that they were at least minimum were going to send me all of my raw pictures in the photos because that's the experience that I've had with other photographers in the past. I'm 100% able to keep my raw images and it's super important to read anything that you sign and all of the fine print so this does not happen to you in the future so i log in for my appointment and the chick is super nice like she must be working at a call center because i can hear people in the background like talking to other people it's like hey just wanted to confirm you're like alone at a private place i'm like yes i am it's just me like so the first thing we do is just we look through all the pictures i took about 137 pictures which we went through one by one and she puts them side by side and she's like, okay, well, let's pick the ones that you like and the ones that you don't like. We went through the whole list. Girl, I look so good. I look so good. My man is going to love this. I'm going to put this in an album. This is going to be like his like Maxim magazine, his like Playboy magazine, whatever he wants. It's his like, girl. So then, you know, we go through the pictures and I'm so happy with the ones that I picked. I ended up with like 92 or 72 pictures. Actually, it was 97 pictures that I picked um, that I really, really liked that I really wanted to put in the album. So then she goes and she shows me like, you know, the, the retouching option. I was like, no, I'm okay. Like, they look good. Like, my man's gonna love them regardless. Like, girl, he wants me. I am his wifey. He wants these pictures. She shows me the packages that I can get as far as prints. And she has some stuff that it's like, if you order one picture, it's like $147. Or if you order more than like whatever, it's going to be $73. And you can put your pictures in this album. You can put your pictures on a keychain, like blah, 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 whatever. I'm like, okay, yeah, like let's look at the price so I can get an idea of what it's going to be. Because I'm thinking it's like $200, you know, $300. Like I was willing to spend $500 max for him. She's like, okay, well, we're just going to enter your information here and we're not going to do any of the Photoshop. We're not going to do this. You have $75 of image credit that I'm going to put for you, which was like a super great deal. You like got in the best deal, blah, blah, blah. Like hyping me up. All right, so your total is going to be $5,834 that we can split up into separate payments of, I was like, absolutely not. What is wrong with you? And the words just kind of like slipped out of my mouth without me realizing it. 
and she's like, ha ha ha, it's okay, like, we can just go back and look at the other pictures. She literally cut me off because I was basically trying to tell her, like, someone told me this from the beginning. I got so upset because the night before, I went on their website and I was trying to look at information on how much photo package would be or how much... I would pay like at the end. The only thing I found was that typically clients pay anywhere between $1,000 to $3,000. In my head, I was thinking like, oh, that's probably like for people to think that, you know, that's normal and because, you know, they want their customers to pay more. But girl, the whole process was just so misleading and I got so upset because you become so emotionally attached to these pictures and you're like, especially for me, like I wanted these for my man for Valentine's Day so he can have. She literally cut me off after I said absolutely not. And she's like, oh, it's okay. We can just go back and check the pictures again and remove some of them we don't want. I literally went back three, four times. Like, lit I kid you not, three or four times. I'm like, listen, I'm so sorry that I'm wasting your time, but it's just misleading like y'all did not tell me this I couldn't find this information on your website last night the photographer even said like heads up like I don't know the prices like so I knew something was up you know like why would you say you don't know the prices one thing is to say like if I were to ask her ahead of time like at the end like oh how much you know are the pictures or how much is the album and for her to say I don't know but for you to say out up the jump like Oh, I don't know the prices, so, you know, at your viewing appointment, they'll go over everything with you. Like, that was kind of, like, suspicious, so I kind of, like, had some doubts in my head. But, you know, and I felt kind of bad, because, like, I even sent the photographer some money. I, like, cashed up her. I'm like, hey, I'm so sorry, I don't have cash, but can I, like, send you something? Because, you know, sis is probably hungry. She probably wants, like, some, like, coffee or something. I don't know. <sighs> Yo, I ended up with six pictures because again, you just become so emotionally attached to these pictures and you're like, oh my God, like what can I do? Like they're just gonna disappear into the nothing if I don't get them. So I felt really bad. You know, I settled for six pictures out of the 137 that I took, which were bomb.com. And I ended up paying $588.13 with the payment plan of like doing 100 each month until like July, which was so stupid. I'll get five digital images and then I'll get one printout, which like, honestly, I don't even remember because I was so upset. You have to like set up a plan where you like deliver them in a like secure package to like CVS or UPS or something. And then you have to sign for it, but you can only sign for it if you're 21 plus. And that's when you get to keep your pictures. And if you don't, they return it within a couple days back to CYS. Girl, I'm paying like $20 for shipping and handling for this. Like for one picture, $20. Like they're just such a scam to me. Like that was so misleading. Like there's no information on their website. There's no information um, when I spoke to the representative on, um, the 1-800 number, they didn't tell me this in advance. They didn't give me a heads up on nothing. The photographer didn't say anything, like. So, dolls, if you got the money, then flaunt it. But for someone like me who's balling on a budget, I definitely needed to know pricing ahead of time and for it to be 100% transparent. But I did love the process. The viewing just wasn't it for me. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and join the doll collection. But go ahead and watch another video and keep the party going.